spot, so we'll oh, figure this out now. Safe, we haven't thought about it yet because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Understood. Great. Well, happy to do that. It's probably useful to think about where we actually want people to park so that they don't ruin our lawn. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is actually very helpful. Yeah. Can I just ask this clarification? Sure. Um, so the, be the 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 house is five bedrooms, right? The the, the primary residence is five bedrooms. Yes. Is there a separate space that you're going to plan to rent? I'm thinking, so, sorry, it's um, small. So it's yeah. Um, so we haven't figured it out yet in terms of this is a garage with an office space above oh, it. Okay. Um, this is the old house. Right. This is the addition. Right. And there are two bedrooms upstairs here mm -hmm. and three bedrooms upstairs mm -hmm. here. Right. There's a ground floor bedroom, which is probably where we, which is kind of in right. the back of the room, which mm -hmm. is where we would probably stay. Oh, where you would stay? Yes. Okay. In this addition. In the addition. Yes. And then just out of, I guess the reason I'm asking this is just to clarify with, within our board also, um, is there a distinction between parking spaces required for the rental unit versus the primary residence or is it well, I think just, if it's you're a gonna, one to one I mean I think if you're going to call it an, a, it's an occupied tourist home right so the home would have two parking spaces and then the rent the rooms but those available for parking the garage the, right I'm sorry those we can use our garage for yeah yeah, yeah yeah so I would do is just say I would just show that if you have five five maximum rentals yeah. right that you would just show five spaces outside right. yeah. and they're nine by 18 as i had said just to okay. show them right. outside i think it's better to reserve the garage i don't think it's terribly practical that you would really Perfect. want them in the garage right. so five you just five spaces yeah five Perfect. nine by 18 spaces yeah. five nine by 18 spaces Which sounds like I it's will... not even enough for your family so it sounds like you'll be uh well, you'll, you'll yeah. have to figure it out it, it's <laughs> actually <laughs> very <laughs> useful to yeah. figure yeah. out fortunately we're near the train which is right um but it's very useful to you don't get nearer the train to that. No. <laughs> um, our grandsons think it's the most exciting thing ever to turn <laughs> if it's a Metro West, yeah. a Metro North, or an Amtrak. Uh, oh, which track? Which train's coming Which train, yes. <laughs> it's a two-year-old boy thing. Yeah. Um, but we need to sort of figure this out before okay. we have it graded. We will do that. Anything else you would like us to No, so I mean, you just, do? you. I'll send you, uh, do we have your email? I'll show you how you just do a parking yes. table. It's literally just this will just be you know one row, which is basically you have five rooms for rent, one for space, or probably two rows. Then just say for their for their residential house, yeah. right? Whatever is the residential house, right? That, yeah. You know there are two spaces that are required in an you know for an R one house. So I would just say that you have you know the three in the garage, yeah, right, which is plenty for the house, and then the five for the five potential rooms for rent. Okay. And um, it's an allowed use. Our change of our code requires that we hold a public hearing for any change of use. So we have to do neighbor notification. So probably the best thing to do is schedule another meeting for next time. I don't know, are, are you in a hurry or? We, in order to do this, we have a conservation easement with Scenic Hudson. Mm -hmm. So in order to be allowed to do this, we need to first get village approval, that. and then we have to submit the proposal to them. So the sooner hmm. they need to approve kind of anything we do. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah, no, no, I'm yeah, familiar we with the, we review that, the yeah. easement, yeah. 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 Um, Okay, um, yeah, so let's do one more meet because we just have, we don't really have what we need to see right now. I don't think we can schedule a public hearing. Okay. Um, do you? Yeah, Anybody? no, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So in two weeks, in we two meet weeks. every time. No yeah. Great. Yeah. We will email that to you. Um, and then I'll shoot Jeff you Jeff has I'll, my email. If you could just tell me in what format it should be to make sure I get it right, that would be helpful. Right. Fun. Just blow it up so we can, just blow yeah. up that one section. Just, yeah. Just, bit here. Just, right. so we can, just so we can see and just label it, you know, for what you're showing us that it's a section of a site plan. Right. Um, it does not have to be to scale. Um, right. But obviously you want, you, you, you kind of want it to scale to show the 9 by 18 spaces. Yeah. Those are very large parking spaces, but that's what our code requires. But you've got plenty of room for that, and it'll probably be. Will not be a problem. Yeah, exactly. park 100 cars there with that problem. Yeah. So, it will so um, be a problem. so show that, and then, and then, at the next meeting, we'll figure out what the neighbor notification is. It's a bit odd because they're so far away. I'm not sure who really needs to be notified. You know, we have what's you know we would it's typically referred to as a blast zone, right? You basically let your neighbors know that something's going on. Um, you post you post now we have a a sign that gets posted which I guess would be somewhere at the end of the driveway, otherwise nobody would see it. You'd be the only ones that would see it. See, the um, only thing is at the end of the boulevard and into their 
property entrance. That's probably as I said at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah otherwise nobody's going to be able. They'd be the only people to see and it. And even at that place, maybe nobody sees it. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the best it can do. I mean, people yeah. if people are Put back the there and are concerned, or, then they'll yeah. see the sign. And, yeah. Our closest neighbor who kind of is nearest our driveway, we've kind of already um, sort of talked I guess to that's, her because I guess that's she a, would see people driving down the yeah. driveway. Yeah, She's I guess that's a good point. Is that's, those, those are probably the most impacted. And I don't know how much... Ava and Bob live... Right here at the... This, this yes, exactly. Yeah. And number one. Yeah. And Ava and Bob had some concerns, and we have sort of you know talked to them and involved them and let them know because they you know want to be reassured that there's not 20 million trucks driving down mm -hmm. this driveway. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be. This is going to be. I mean, our personal use will probably make more noise than than this will. Mm -hmm. But we have. So they are the people that I think. It would be nice to notify because we yeah. want to make sure that. How about the the ones over here? Well, the, the condo about, people. Yeah, I mean, they are. You know, if if you say they're, the proximity, they're, that's probably the corner. But here. there's the road but between the, them. Yeah, mm -hmm. the road I think the over condo the over here. Yeah. And, the condo and there's woods yeah. here. The condo people yeah, the condo are not affected. Yeah. 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 The driveway I mean, is two hundred yards long. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll look at. We can look yeah. at this at the next meeting just to figure out where the blast zone yeah. is. I'll take a look at the tax map. I'm not really. I. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really kind of able to make it out on this. Right. Sure. Um, is there a time in advance for our next meeting that we need the drawings, or just a, like a, the, No, because we'll day? review them then. Yeah. yeah so it would be good. It would be good to get them in by no, I'll by Friday of next week if you can. Yeah. yeah. No um, and that we will have them uh, a few days before the meeting, and then we know that we can put you on the agenda. Correct. Be happy um, to do that. And then I'll shoot you just a sample of the parking table. It really is just going to be a, a couple of rows, which Six. is going to be, okay. you know, an R1 house yes, requires two spaces, yeah. you know, a, a tourist home requires... I thought we were an R3 zone. Well, it's a residential house, right? I mean, oh, yeah. That's what that residential is. R3 is for multifamily, right? Or right. for developments or condominiums, things like that. Right. Right. So the, if we're saying that, you know, it's you know, kind of an occupied tourist home, I think you would say kind of two for the owners and one per, you know, and one per rental room. I think is 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 more than enough. I think that you know, but short of that, then you run the risk of oh, there's you know, there are, there are, the cars are overflowing. If they overflow, they're going to overflow on your property anyway. So it really isn't as impactful as most of the other stuff we see in the village is you know right. is, is yeah. overflows on you know we're I mean, cheek to jowl. There's two hundred yards of driveway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the driveway is wide enough to park right. cars all along. It, Great. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So I think and you know and if look if you want to show it on the driveway I think it's perfectly fine too. I mean, but I imagine you probably do want some spaces up towards the no, property. No, I, I think we legitimately want to plan out where yeah. we want people yeah. to park because otherwise people park on your lawn and ruin it. So right. we need yeah. to think about this at some point. So why not now? So right. this is great. Okay. Great. All right. Great. And then um, are we required to notify Scenic Hudson? We probably should since there's a conservation oh. easement. So we'll we'll have you notify them as well. They they at their at our annual review. We mentioned that we were going through the process and said we would first get village approval, and so they know. And um, Sarah and, and they don't have any they don't have any issue with the with the R three use, do they? The tourist home use? No, okay. they don't have any issue. They just want their board reviews it. Right. Anything that we do, they review. Yeah, no, no, they have to hold the easement. Yeah, so the way to, the easement is written is that we are allowed to have a bed and breakfast or tourist rentals subject to scenic Hudson's approval. Mm. That's how it's written. And so we mentioned it to them, said we'd first get village approval, and then once we had village approval, we would, you know. I guess, and also too, if you could to bring, that. if you could bring a copy of the filed conservation easement. Mm -hmm. um, the village has a copy. Do we have a copy? Because of the whole business with, we had to go through CICRA and mm -hmm. the whole historic district review board, and so I brought. Many, if you want another copy of the conservation easement, oh, the, the boards are the boards are all separate. I mean, just, okay. uh, yeah, anything that's gone to another board is not. Yeah, I'll check the HDRD yeah. and the, yeah. the the ZBA five. HDRD yeah, just so we have the right language, because I'm sure we're we probably should notify the correct party at Cena Hudson right. to say we're going to hold a public hearing um, on this if they want to attend and give any comment. You know, I would think we'd be in support, but everybody. Well, the way they seem to say it is that they perceive it as two separate things. And they want the right to review the process independently after we got village approval. Mm -hmm. That's how they. Yeah, that's why I'd like to read it. Okay. Great. Great. Thanks. Um, um, do we have anything else? So are we gonna? Well, there's, there's, sorry. 
The conservation easement doesn't say that. The conservation easement says that we are allowed to have a bed and breakfast tourist rental subject to scenic Hudson's approval. Mm -hmm. The letter we receive from the person who does our yearly um, conservation easement assessment <coughs> went into greater detail. Would you like us to forward a copy of that? That'd be great, yeah, great. just to hear what they know. Because in that way, then we'll just, I guess, I mean, look, our, we, we don't, I don't think we need, I'll, we'll all speak to the attorney, I don't think we need to condition our approval on anything because ultimately we're approving it based on our code, whether or not it's compliant with the, uh, the village is not a party to the easement, are they? I don't believe so. I don't think so. I think it's just filed just by Scenic Hudson. Correct. Um, <clears throat> no, I, Yeah. just between us and that. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, so we should just look at it just to figure out, and I think all we'll just do is just say, hey, we're holding a public hearing, just an FYI. And what that'll be is, at the next meeting, we'll decide, you know, who, what the, who gets notified. Basically, it's a certified return receipt, just notice. The lawyer drafts up a legal notice, which says, okay, you know, on such and such a date, we're going to hold a hearing for a change of use. All change of uses have to have a public hearing for in Cold Spring Code. It allows people to come in and comment, you know, if they can, they can raise concerns. It's, a, it's an as of right use. Right, but still, the you know the 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 you know the body politic has to kind of be heard right. um, on any changes of views. So, no problem. sounds great. Okay, good, great, yeah. excellent. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Oh, Lodi must have been pretty boring. Lodi <laughs> went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is a review of the, an update of the site plan for um, Food Town Plaza. Good, thanks, how are you? Good. You can pull a chair up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I have an architect to the uh, adults. Uh, we should have six or seven copies of that in the, oh, we do. In the folder, yes. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, that's Perfect. put together. Thanks. Our original architect had retired. He um, designed the blue town after the fire. Right. So I had to uh, basically do it all. We need to do it. Thank you. So um, I believe there was, um, no, we. We basically just wanted, I believe the neighbor was complaining about um, just uh, a lot of the... We, yeah, we've received a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints, yeah. yeah. So, These guys? Yeah. So the neighbors. And, um, right. No. Uh, Marion. Marion. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 This, this side. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, many big had nothing to do. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at, they, they did a, a, a cut. They basically took... Right. Um, Earlier. Oh, this is a separate. Yeah, this separate is a blow on. Okay. So I'm looking back okay, got here it. what we did. Okay. Now, is the is this hash line the property line? Yes. So this is the existing block um, block wall for the deliveries. Um, Which is this is in a, the, a, in a, the behind the food town. Here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So some of this is coming off the property. Pardon? Some of this is coming off the property. There's well, this was approved prior when they built Food Town. Yes, it is off the property. Right. So um, where I messed up was I didn't, I didn't understand exactly. I just wanted to correct everything for the for the neighbors so they they weren't pissed off. Right. So I went I went ahead and I um, built the block wall. So we can. We, I took out, took out the uh, two short storage sheds, and and I I made a new little dumpster area here to hide all of the other nonsense that was was back here because it didn't. This dumpster area is only for food town. So um, because there was a right here, see this line? That's a that's an eight inch step that goes on to this parcel back here. Mm-hmm. So it's very difficult to roll anything, like a dumpster or um, or like the grease container. Uh, it, couldn't, right. it couldn't be on a step because, you know, if they tried to like remove it, it would just mess up everything. So I, I, I made a little um, dumpster area here 
just to put everything that's out here in here and I cleaned it up really well. Uh, we're also going to paint the building and I'm going to add planters um, on every corner here, here, here with uh, some kind of evergreen bush. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, so this is, these were taken in 2006 and then this is what was, what was sent to us. So as you know, I mean, obviously it got pretty rough back there. Okay. Um, there were, you know, there were additional dumpsters, there were additional, um, you know, cold storage, there was additional shed, there was additional right. walls, there was all sorts of stuff was popping up and it was looking, yeah, that's and this it was looking, mainly, yeah, it was from the pizzeria. This was all the, <laughs> it, it, it did look like they were your most problematic tenant, yeah. yeah. Um, um, in fact, the, in many ways, I think the food town, it was seemed like they were they were in pretty good shape, yeah. I mean, everybody was in good shape, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm um, here because of the pizzeria, I've they, they cause it, you know, I, everybody loves them and we're trying yeah. to accommodate them and just trying to, <laughs> yeah, make everybody happy. So the challenge is going to be for me is just that we, how do we approve encroachments on a property, right? That you don't own. I, right. we, we really can't do that. Right. I'm not sure why the why the prior planning board did. Um, right. You know, when folks come to us and say, you know, I want to show something on my stoop. You know, most of what we have, what we run into, is stuff on Main Street. Right. Because we see predominantly commercial. So. Right we can't, they can't show anything. They can't do any work there because they don't own it. If they want to do it, similar to what happened with uh, uh, Silver Spoon, is first you got to buy it, right? So if you want to show an we'll ADA ramp and you want to show... If it's available, we'll purchase it. I think that would make the most sense because I don't see how, and I don't know if that's an option. I don't know if that's oh, okay. something the trustees want to do. I don't, I'm not the, I'm not the uh, real estate agent here. Okay. But I would think that that's the, that's the fastest track to yeah. just clean this up. Okay. Because... Um, I think the setbacks or the lack of setback, you know, is what it is. I right. don't think I, I don't think you can kind of reopen that um, because it's already been approved. Um, do you do you have a set of the stamped approved site plan? Yeah, I have it. It's in that folder. Okay. This is all we have. It's hard to read. Yeah. Um, oh, this. Okay. That's the previous. This the, yeah. yeah. This is the this file. Is yeah. Oh. Previously <laughs> Alex, if you get a chance, could you have a copy of that made or leave to me and I'll, and I'll go to Gray's and have a full size this? copy? This is the only one I have. <laughs> yeah. Could, but if you copy it, I'll pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, I'll go to Gray's and have them make a okay. copy because that would be great. This would be good to have and we should probably take a little bit, spend a little bit of time on this. Um, and then I think yeah. we can we can reach out to the village board, Jeff, or Jeff can do that um, as, the, as the village clerk. I think it would be interesting to see if they would be willing to sell um, I don't know why they'd want to own it. Um, I don't see any upside to the village owning it, but that's their decision. Um, our challenge will just be that there, you know, there are, to, to show these encroachments, we can't really stamp and sign this, you know, because we right. can't. Like you said, this is, and this is shown here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it. Is it, and it's as built, right? It's currently this built is, that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so is there something where it's grandfathered in, is my question? Well, or not? Because if once it, you if change it, it, once you do any, if it's more. an if it's an approval, you know, if it's on an approval, if this is, is this one stamped and signed? Yeah, this is signed by Randy. Oh, that one is too. That's got Taggart's signature. Yeah, um, yeah. If we could, we should just get a, a few of these. Yeah, um, and then we'll we'll have to study this. I might be able to look right. at it tomorrow. Um, did, in your opinion, did anything did anything creep further? Because this was already here too. This would no, this wasn't here. I I I built that. Yeah. But what's this? No, that's uh, was just doodling. I was doodling here. Oh, so that's not on the original approval. No. Oh. No. And this has been. No, I. Do I, we have, we don't have a file copy, probably right? No. Okay. I was just doodling here. I was putting planters and, you know. Okay, so the red marks, we would just ignore the reds. Yes. Yep. Okay. And so this is a new... The blue ones too? New? Yeah. The blue is... Your doodles? That's or... my doodles. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay, yeah, so we can just we can just ignore any of the colored annotation? Yeah. 
Can they just grace could do it in color? Or? Oh, fine. I think so. I should be able to. Or could just white it out. Or yeah. you could make a copy and white out. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the only. So it looks like. I mean, I don't know about the scale, but I mean, this looks closer, but I, it's probably a scale issue. It's a. Uh, it's pretty much this, this one and this one. Take a closer slide. Yeah, a little bit. Like uh, oh, that. Right yeah. 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 So that's the same size, pretty much. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks closer to the lot to the lot line to me, mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. uh, dimension, um, but it could just be the reproduction. Um, but that's true. I mean, I guess with the exception of this, it looks like this trash enclosure. I did that like last month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wasn't supposed to. I know. But is there anywhere else to put that or no? No. See, I, I was. I wanted to put it here. But uh, then you got the step, you know. Is that here? Huh? That needs That's rather tenant here. though, right? Oh. Yeah. This is for Angelina's down here? Mm -hmm. No, well, Angelina's is here, right? Is yeah, because the, the trucks have to Come back up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, yeah, I think we probably should clean up a copy of this and then compare the two, I mean, just individually, and then figure out the, the town doesn't have one of these? What would be the Someone, village? The village road? Uh, it doesn't sound like it. No. No, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just maybe scan it, and then we can have somebody Photoshop it. Mm-hmm. You want me to do that? I, I can do that. I can bring in my printer and have them yeah. Photoshop all this. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can just me, they don't even have to be that big. They could be small, <laughs> but... It can be smaller, right? Okay, yeah, all right. But, yeah, if you could get me a couple of uh, copies. Can I see those pictures that. again? Uh, sure. This is the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so these sheds are gone. These are all, all this garbage, the dumpster and these you know, recycling bins are now behind here. So it's pretty much all cleaned up here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to repaint it in April. Okay, great. It would be good, I mean, I don't know if we want to wait until after we've reviewed it, but I think indicating the planters... I could do the planters immediately. Right? Would be a good idea? if Because you said that you were planning to yeah. the planters. Yeah. Sure. Oh, no. And that's just great screening, or yeah, it's just because it's such a you know concrete experience. Concrete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, uh, the machine shop guy has nice planners too, like you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Why don't we do that? I mean, I think, like I said, we can reach out to the village board and see if they have any interest in selling. Yeah, that, the, that would, uh, pretty I much. don't know if they need to hold a setback. I don't know. I mean, but it doesn't really do much for the village board, I wouldn't really think. I mean, but we can ask them. Because with so many encroachments, mm -hmm. it's hard for us to... What's, what's this? This is, not, this is not there. What are these? Do you know what these indicate? I have no idea. Hmm. It's basically the, the most problematic are the new ones. Yeah, these aren't. There's nothing yeah. here that. Yeah, but this is not. But this is new. This doesn't show here. Right. Exactly. Whatever these that blocks one this, are. This one those, that yeah, one. Exa yeah. Yeah. It looks like that's the only change. Um, Everything else looks more or less the same. Although these doors and the wall. swing further. Sure, do these represent um, the wheelie bins? Mm -hmm. To what's your a, knowledge. What's a wheelie bin? Um, you know the wheelie bins. Yeah, like the, the the low. Um, they're not. They're uh, Trash recycling like dumpsters. The two wheels. Yeah, but they're little. They're you know they're oh, I'll try smaller than a dumpster. You know, the oh, big metal know. metal. Do we need to go on a site visit? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Actually, is that indicated in a situation like this where we're looking at a plan and we're like, oh, what is that? Should we go up? And no, any, yeah, anybody should. Know. If okay. you want to go take a look for yourselves, because we, we'll, we need to get a copy of this. This is a... Is that the original? It, yeah, this is okay. the, the side plan. It's been annotated a little bit, so we're gonna, he's going to clean it up for us because yep. we don't... Yep. All we have is a, is a pretty poor scan. Oh, yeah. Um, you probably could actually fix, but it'd be, it'd be better to go from that. Yeah, it's just there's so much there's so much snow in this. It's, there's snow much. Huh? Snow so much. Yeah, <laughs> it's just you can't really. All right. Um, and then it was you know, it would not require a public it's not a public hearing thing or anything of that. It's basically just an amended site plan. Um, I have another. Uh, the lady that lives across the street, she called the the bank and said that the light. Um, that is the security light that they have outside is shining into her window. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's a bank. I, I can't assume I, I, they need like pretty good lighting at night. I would think so, but you but it could be could it shouldn't be going across the street. I don't know why. You know, it's a that's a it really should be shining down because I because I imagine that their goal is obviously to light. The building to like the door to see if anybody goes to the door and anybody's at right. the door. They don't really need to know that somebody's out in the yeah. street. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I don't want to change the light and then be liable. I would talk to the bank. I would suspect what the bank wants to do. The bank wants to know whether somebody is. What the bank wants to know is that if the police drive by, they will see somebody at the door tampering with the door. They don't really need to know that somebody's you know twelve feet away walking yeah. down the street. It's so really I think not, what you're just, what it's just your normal floodlight that's and it's angled down. Mm. You know, but it's like probably that. not hooded, right? It's um, maybe they can put it, yeah, yeah. like put a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a, it's the the square ones. Mm -hmm. It's flush to the. It's flush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has the pitch already built into it. Huh. It's not like a you know adjustable light floodlight. It's mm -hmm. fixed. So it does sound like it is mm -hmm. made to wash. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's just. <laughs> um, I don't know, and we don't really, we don't have a strong lighting code with respect to lumens and all of that. I mean, oh, okay. so you're not required to do things that aren't in the code. Okay. It, to be a good landlord, think you know, you obviously you would, you know, you would, you would want to. Um, there is actually, um, there is actually a, a section of the code that refers to that d describes um, how do they. Uh, Light, uh, light. It's called light trespass. It refers to light trespass mm. onto private onto other property. property. Yeah. Um, and that you know, thou shalt not light trespass. Yeah. So, um, so it is worth noting. Okay. Um, yeah. The question is how much is really spilling off the property. I mean, if it's a down. I wasn't sure if they, if she had uh, mentioned anything to you guys. Or, uh, I, have we, I haven't heard have that. We, heard, one. we haven't. Have we heard from anyone directly? For this property? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh yeah, um, you just filter it for us. <laughs> oh, I see. We, the grand we, has heard, but we have understood. Okay. So I just want to let you. And you're welcome to have a set of these if you want. Oh, good. If you want some pictures, because yeah. obviously you know you're. Uh, so my dad's you're, like you're before, years during, old. and afters. My dad's 88 now. He always took care of his property. Yeah. And he's a he's a great man. Like he knows my dad. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know he's getting to that age now where you know people would call him on things and. You know, doesn't know how to work the answer machine anymore, <laughs> so it's very, it's getting lost in uh, communication. Basically. Okay. So okay. Um, like the so you're taking you're gonna there. be the point person yeah. for the property. Okay, great. That's that's great. Um, because uh, I don't like to hear like a lot of people complain and because this should have been taken care of a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, and we can certainly see you've got you, you, right. you most of your problems are are for one tenant, right? Which you're which you're focused on, which I think right. is good. Um, we can. So if this gets cleaned up and then you, and that comes back to us, we can look at that at the next meeting. Okay. Um, I don't imagine you're in a. Are you in a hurry to do anything? No, you're, I'm not. With respect to, uh, you just want to set some. You've done everything. I just want to take care of it. Right. Basically, I, I, I kind of need this dumpster to to facilitate the, the clutter. Mm -hmm. Right. Otherwise. Is that where they're greased? They're. Oh no! You move the grease. The grease but, and there's uh, there's yeah. garbage and one dumpster in the here. And yeah. Everything is that used to be. Rolling around, yeah. Here, yeah. You know, like this stuff, it's not there anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a wheelie bin. Those little green yeah. and blue ones. Yes, yeah. these are yeah. these are hidden behind here. Right, now. and so that's why I was wondering if those were these, because I know they have them at the super. They're using them at the supermarket. Gotcha. So that might be what that is. 
and um, these these are no longer there, and I built a wall. The little wall here. And that you're pretty sure is on your property, right? Yes, that's this is definitely my property. Okay, this this basically matches the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Oh right, it was uh, there was no wall there, mm -hmm. uh, and basically, it was just those sheds, those out little kind of next this wall. Yeah. It's right in there. To hide that. To hide everything else that's behind there. Oh, and that is that the light? This is the light. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that gooseneck? No, no, not the gooseneck. The flush mount. Flush mount. What about painting a big mural oh. back there? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like Dan and Deacon, Joe. Art's pretty, uh, pretty subjective stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or you can have the kids come out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell the That's people true. to go. Oh, yeah. The kids go over there. You don't yeah. need to hire any artists. So the kids, yeah. they, did, they did the tunnel. I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. I saw a lot of somebody to Legos. They did a mural of Legos mm -hmm. on a building. That's yeah. pretty neat. I, I don't know. I, I mean, that's, that's your facade, so. <laughs> but I think it could go a long way. Or maybe not. Because that's yeah. subjective. <laughs> yeah, it's just a no good, no good deed. Right, so so I think we'd have to, yeah, so I think we, if you bring the, if we get the plans back, we can kind of look at two clean sets. Okay. Um, I think it's a little, we can't really do that just yet. Um, and if we could get a few sets of these and a few sets, wait, this we have, right? That's what's in right. here. Okay. Um, so I'll drop these off. Uh, just and it would be good if you can do them in the same size. I would just go ahead and do that if you can. Okay. The same size as this, like just when you're kind of looking okay. at them. It's a lot easier to, to stare and compare. Okay. Um, I'll write an email to the village board then to just ask if they have interest in selling the strip of property behind Food Town along Marion, yeah. um, which is basically just a, you know, it would just be kind of taking a temperature as to whether or not they even want to entertain it. Okay. Um, there, um, and I don't know what the answer will be, but like I said, it's I don't know. We don't really have the ability, um, prior planning boards aside, to like sign up on a site plan that shows things happening on property that isn't yours, okay. especially permanent installations. Um, but as you know, as as Lara was saying, it's 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 really it's really just the new stuff. Because I don't really think you're you're doing enough to say you reopen the approvals, right? I mean, I think the approvals are what they are. Um, it looks like you have the stamped one. It, it when you clean that up and blow it up, we can compare it to this, which is the file copy. Okay. I, we can look. We can see this well enough to kind of know. Okay. Kind of know where the. Um, of course, there's a dashed line that's totally snowed out. Uh, but we could probably draw it back in because if you can, if you can pick up a couple pieces of it. Um, but it it is it appears to be the same condition. You know that the the food town loading dock enclosure came way over. And um, and then the other stuff looks like it went right up to it. Um, so the 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 parcel would they have to subdivide this uh, to the street or? No, I think. No, I think it's just a purchase. Or is it the whole road? You would purchase the road. No, you can't purchase the road. No, so <laughs> we're. Uh, it's basically just this. It would it's be this. I don't know. Is the road here or no? This is the street here. No, look at this. Okay. So. This is. Strip is here. Mm -hmm. Is, is this is so this is so this is this is the edge of the road then, right up here. I'm looking at where this line is. Gotcha, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, so, so that's what we're talking. About. Yeah, it's just the piece that brings you to the edge of the road. I don't think the village is required. Look, I don't know if there's any utility easements or anything right. running on there, but they would just transfer to you. Um, you can't extinguish an easement. Right. I don't. I doubt there's ex utility easements in the back. We don't have under. We don't. We don't. We don't have natural gas, and the power is overhead. So, utility easements really have a lot more to do with you know buried power, like Butterfield again, right. newer construction. Um, so the, it, it'd be a just a question for the village board, and I think that would be a way to kind of clean things up. I, we wouldn't approve any more. Well, I mean, this. I know that I'm late, guys, but that that you're pointing to there is that's um, proposed new construction on the. It's back proposed side. new construction that already happened. Yeah. I, I did Wait, it last to month. clean up yeah. the. Oh, a wood, I think it's a wood fence. 
Yeah. 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 So it's not in the images here. No, no that's no. the prior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to look at that, but um, look, we appreciate what you're trying to do. Let's just, but let's stick, let's not get ahead okay. of the board. No. But, but, but I do appreciate what you're trying to do because I mean, it was in bad shape. And if, yeah, if you've done to, what you I said, don't want to make done. anybody upset. I just, no, no, no. If you said what you've done, you've done. I mean, I, have you looked at it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it must look better. Yes. Just, it, you know, and you obviously seem like an, an honest guy here. Um, so that, you know, we appreciate, but just don't, don't, let's not do any more. I'm not doing any, uh, until we anything, figure I'll out. Just put the planners. Because. And planters, I mean, well, first of all, you, the planters are then going to end up on village property too, which I don't think is a big deal, but it's not a permanent installation. Um, this we have to talk about, but I don't, again, I don't, it's, you know, I don't want to say it's not the end of the world because it's certainly not, but it is, we can't really show things on site plans on, you know, going, encroaching onto the, a neighboring okay. property, which is fine to talk about for now. And then we can see, we would, we can see what the village is appetite is for you know to for selling the selling the strip yeah I mean I could take it off for now and then try to mm. hard to purchase the but then where are you gonna put that stuff if it just is gonna sit out in the open right. I'd almost prefer that the that the closure <laughs> just stays <laughs> up for okay. now okay. All right. um, it's not approved it's you know it's yeah. it's not approved so it's not like it's less approved tomorrow it's okay. just not approved okay. so I mean I don't think it's a I think I, again and I do appreciate what you're trying to do um, just don't don't add anything. To it. I'm not adding <laughs> Don't expand the non-conformity. Yeah. Right? Um, so, because this has been something that people have expressed uh, concern about, um, I don't. I feel like people should maybe be notified that we're discussing this, so they can come and at least be. Heard they are. I mean, the, the to yeah. I mean, say. the look. I mean, the 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 agenda is posted, mm -hmm. right? You know, it's, if people have an interest in properties, unfortunately, what they need to do is follow yeah. the boards and they just like, you know, register for the, you know, the village blast emails. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no notification process, I don't think, for like a public hearing or, um, which so I'm surprised you, so you don't actually. think a public hearing is indicated in this, in this case? Because there's no change of use. Uh, there's no change of use and it's really just updating a site plan. I mean, I think that mm -hmm. what those neighbor issues are is not conforming to the site plan, right. which is an enforcement issue, right. not a planning board issue. Mm -hmm. This right? is true. However, we are now modifying the site plan in order to make a non-conformity conform. Right? I mean, the, the sort of like this little chicken and egg thing going on. I mean, not that I think there's anything wrong with it. I'm just, you know, we are modifying the site plan, and I wonder if, if and because it's of interest to the people who live across the street from it. Um, I'd just be concerned to just kind of set the precedent that you got to have a public hearing for, you know, for, you know, for, you know, to do a minor site plan. This is really a pretty minor site plan adjustment. Now, <coughs> if they don't sell you this, then this requires a variance, right? How, how tall is the fence? Oh, you're commercial, so they can have a six foot fence in commercial. Yeah, so it's not an issue. Is it a, a fence or is it, I haven't been back. I you said it's a wood fence, fence, right? It's a wood board fence. It's a wood board fence. Yeah, with two, uh, two sets Gates. of barn doors. Yeah. 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 And, and there's a hardship where that stuff couldn't sit anywhere else. Well, the pad, this is a pad, right? So this is raised. That's the hardship. I would, and it has I would to be gladly put, put a truck right here. The truck has to pick it up. Yeah. Right. This is for the, the grease. The grease container and the and then another dumpster. Right. Like a quarter yard. Yeah, and like the wheel off. Okay. So are the wheel off bins going in the Yep, they're gate? in here. Yeah. I mean there were a few neighbors I can certainly just shoot them an email to just say, you know, the the application's before us, you know, we now have an application and we'll you know, within the next day or so we'll have a the you know, the the village approved site plan from two thousand three. Mm -hmm. Um and then what the changes are. I mean I'm you know Believe me, I want to make it beautiful back there because uh, we have a lot across the street over here that I, you know, that I plan on putting two nice homes too. Okay. Eventually. Will two fit in? Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're in the right whatever place. I can fit. <laughs> the corner of the trust here? Yeah, the corner, yep. Yeah, this one. The this lot right yeah. here, yeah. Yep. The post office was almost going to do something there for about five oh, minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there were children under a truck. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want the post office to leave. They, you know, they're like critical to our. Uh, I really wanted to talk to you guys about that, and, and and I will tell you, it's unfortunate the way that got played. Yeah. Uh, at, from the politics of it, because yeah. 
what really should have happened is let's consider a retail post office, right? right. And everybody's like, oh, you got to do sorting or you lose. The, the opposite is true. Right. If you leave sorting in an area that is that is that you know that doesn't really need it, right. you're you're on the target list to be shut down. Right. Mm -hmm. If you convert immediately to a retail post office, and our retail post office is big enough, it could have fit inside your grocery store, right. which I'm sure is great for business. Of course, yeah. right? You know, and that would have been. But you know, the you know the frankly, the county was really inserting themselves heavily into that pro you know into that project. Right. It would have been more productive on the local level to say because they wanted to keep the sorting. Ultimately, the sorting moved away anyway, yeah. which was a good thing. Because, you know, I mean, I, you can imagine sorting email for Cold Spring for... Sorting I mean, mail. 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 You know, sorting, yeah, sorting yeah. mail for Cold Spring, I mean, and sorting mail down the road for Garrison, if that's absolutely on the post office's radar, right? right? right. It's a very, it's a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a tough margin business. So, but anyway, that's uh, that uh, that has left the station. But now, you know, you now then you go down to you know from a three thousand square foot facility down to like eight nine hundred square feet because right. you just need a counter and some PO boxes, right. which is great to have inside of a grocery store. But right. unfortunately, things didn't go that way. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But it's a bustling little shopping center. Yeah, it's very busy. Yeah. Very very busy. Yeah. Was there earlier today? Yeah. <laughs> but you don't, we, you don't go behind. We walk along here <laughs> most of the yeah. time. Oh, really? yeah. That's I why I do walk down that way. And notice the... No, this is going to be beautiful from now, from yeah. now on. It's a, it's a good example for our <laughs> book, too, as to why, uh, <laughs> why shared parking does not work. <laughs> right? You know, smart parking. When you say a 20% reduction in parking, that works if one end's a nightclub and, you know, right. one end's a grocery store. Right. Right, you know, you close one and open the other one, but when everything's pretty much a nine to five ish, nine, nine to five, nine ish yeah. business, smart parking, smart parking is not smart. It yeah. just doesn't, uh, you end up with not enough parking. Um, but it's, uh, but obviously, you, you know, you guys are trying to get back in business after the fire. So, yeah, so let's just do that and then we can regroup at the next meeting. Okay. Um, I'll send an email out to the people that were sending us pictures. There's only like three or four people. Um, just so to let them know. We're going to be on for the next. For next month or in two weeks? About two weeks is fine. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, if you want to okay. come back, yeah. All right, um, so I'll, I'll make copies of it. Because then we can get a temperature from the village board by then. Okay. We can figure out whether or not we're send. you know, whether or not Greg, um, whether or not Jeff is sending you for variances to the ZBA or whether or not you're going to hold off and, and look at purchasing the parcel. And that, well, you're still going to need a variance because I don't think you're going to, you're going to have, well, I don't know, is that true? Do you need a setback for a, for a fence? Oh, good point. It's just a fence. Yeah. That should be fine. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, it's not a permanent structure. Not a it's a fence. Yeah. It's not part of the building. That's probably fine. I'll take. I'll take a look at the code. I, don't, I think that's probably fine. Um, and then we. And then you probably should establish escrow. A thousand dollar check for it. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Good. Um, well, John, at the at least at, well, just at the hearing, we don't need to. Oh no, there's not going to be a hearing. Uh, well, we might we might need his opinion on something, but yeah, I, that's true. I don't really think we need event meetings. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward, okay. unless of course it goes into a purchase of the of the strip in the back, and that would be your preference. Is that yes. correct? Just to kind of clean it up, <coughs> yeah, and not Probably have to. Probably use a little land too. You know, yeah, yeah, and then we could then we could get everything documented and get it, you know, and then right. you can you know in the spring start to really scrub and paint and, yeah, you know. But like I said, you know, hold off on anything else. I do appreciate what you're trying to do, because obviously I know the. Um, the building is, you know, it can be, it can get pretty, uh, yeah, if you're not, if you don't, we'll do whatever, if you don't keep an eye on it. Yeah. So. All right. Very good. Thank you so much for Anyways, coming in. Take care. Okay. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Thanks. Okay. Um, do we have anything else? So those photos people sent in is mainly for ugliness, not for occupying Days. No, no, it's more. It's no, no. It's not just. It's not just no, aesthetics. It's, it's I mean, the, there's. This is. This pretty much represents the approved site plan. This condition right here in 2006. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then what started happening was this. So in front of, the in front of these black walls, wall, there's yeah. a more there's dumpsters. several dumpsters. There's yeah. a rolling grease container. Grease containers are. That's from the. Pretty much always leak. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then you got you got a bunch of wood pallets stacked up. Then you got a bunch of just rubble. There's another dumpster. Right. Behind two sheds, he said he got rid of the sheds. Yeah, I think he said that. I thought one of them was refrigeration, though, for Food Town. I think that's part of what's on the plan that he's asking for, right? Is okay. the enclosing the refrigeration, putting in a wood, a roof. That's, oh, okay. That's mainly the. Uh, 
Oh, is that what was on the? <coughs> I think that's what's on the refrigerator. Yeah, so it's just there's a there's it's it's far more than aesthetics. I mean, it's pretty rough looking. Um, and what the hell is that? The water tank? People. The hot water tank. Hot water. Dump. No, it's board with some stuff on it. No, that's a. Oh, uh, that one. No. Hmm. Um, yeah, so it was. I'll just shoot them an email, just say hey, it's in front of us, if you want to, you know, come and look. But really what we, they're, what they're showing us is really an enforcement issue, right? Yeah. Basically say, you know, there's a site plan on file, the code enforcement, um, it needs to enforce the code um, to, the, to the approved site plan, right? To the filed site plan. So that obviously keeps everybody from, uh, from getting upset. Because then you can at least look at the approved site plan and go, well, it's approved, mm -hmm. right? You know, this thing that juts out for a food town, it's approved. It was signed off by the prior planning board um, when Randy Taggart was chair back in 2003. So we can't reopen that. You know, to the extent that they touch it, we can reopen it. But it's, it's good that I think that the, that the owner now wants to see if he can look at that. I don't know if they ever talked about purchasing that strip or why they decided to encroach with that selling. Although I don't think we didn't sell before, right? I don't, I don't even remember that much years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even remember talk of it. I think when, even when I was on the board, I don't remember selling stoops. I remember people talking about not really knowing they didn't own the property in front of theirs and you know on Main Street. And, yeah. I think but that's the issue. There was one when we just moved in first. There was once we were the public sitting there, and somebody said, "No, you cannot use that." And somebody said, "Why not?" And we're discussing about a shop or somebody mm -hmm. along the main street here, and then they said, "Because that belongs to the village." Right. And the guy said, "Huh?" Okay. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. I think I think back then it was really more just talk. It's only been recently, within the last maybe two to three years, that there's been a little bit of activity on selling them. You know, and they had yeah. they came up with you know a price per square foot or whatever. Yeah. It's mostly been on Main Street. It's yeah. been these yeah, it's little street. stoop areas yeah. on. Yeah, and then we had two four. No, not 214, 114 Main? Mm -hmm. Is that right? What is going on with that, with the vinyasa, the old yoga studio? Lorber. Which one, 114 where? It's no, all the way down on Lower Main. Oh. Oh, oh. That, is yeah. that stopped? Yeah, did it start? Yeah. Oh, 15? <laughs> did we approve it? We approved yeah, it. Yeah. 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 15 Main Street? Is it 15? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's in or, progress, or, I mean, they or yeah. The, 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 well, she said there's some construction going on. We went. There is construction going on. We went oh, is there? through there yeah. one day, and then the back was really far. I mean, it's it's okay. a huge place, and they were building the roof. And oh, they were doing that. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I I that. It, it was uh, it was some it was things going on. Yeah. Okay. They're putting in the back. Huh? Oh, okay, we poked in the window so we can get in, but yeah. you could see the back. Yeah, the I remember room. that was a fun meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a, a lot of that lower main. <laughs> oh, okay. right. no. we, had, we had neighbors come and talk yeah. to us and mm -hmm. tell us things about. Okay, so we have no public, so I guess there's no public comment. Uh, board, anybody have any board business? Uh, I, I completed an hour and a half course okay, online. Great. And then you sent it to is, Jeff? There is one piece of paper I printed out I can give to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was one question I, I answered wrong twice. It shows how much I totally did not agree with what we said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, one question is, uh, they have a conference at Lake George, but that doesn't, um, doesn't seem to count as study hours. It doesn't? The planning conference in Lake George? That should. That should. I would think it would. I'd be hard pressed to think it would be more than enough for uh, that conference more for <laughs> one year. Yeah. Yeah, well, because when is that? It's a, in uh, in April. It's in spring, right? Yeah. yeah, in April. I have you. You gave me the the, the um the oh, the, was in that the, brochure? Yeah, in that yeah. brochure. They have the application forms and stuff. You can go in just for the uh, workshops and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, I looked at it, and then you know I wasn't certain if that is counted as a study hour. Oh. And another thing was, I looked online. Uh, Online courses right now only available for one hour and a half. And then they had the same thing. They said, oh, here's the book. I go through it. It's exactly the same thing as they go through online. It's not much. 
and then I'll just, I'll continue looking to see if they okay. offer any new courses. Okay, Otherwise, great. Otherwise, I'll check. At yeah, and you can just email yeah. the board, and then when you get your completion certificate, send it to Jeff because he, Jeff records that. Yeah, okay, I'll, record I'll that. give it to you. And I'll also follow up with John first because he's usually very good about. Yeah, he's for he 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 really letting us know the yeah. conferences and the things that are available that count towards. Okay, but the, hours. So the only thing is, I'm not certain if that conference would be counted as part of my training hours. If not, I you know I may I may not go. If it is, I I may go. I don't know, but I'm looking at other courses. Okay. And there is one book I can purchase, but I don't know if study on my own. No. Would be counted as no, it has, has to be, it has to be, it has to be just like sort, approved right? courses yeah, yeah. or, yeah, but I would think the conference has got to count for some, I would be surprised, but. To, I, I don't, to, that's, to, that's the, yeah. only, yeah. the only question. Well, and the, uh, the Dutch, well, last time I checked a few weeks ago, you had asked them, the Dutch is planning, because they, they do a they lot do of, quite a bit, right? Quite a bit, and they yeah. haven't, haven't they announced haven't anything. anything. No, they haven't, yeah. I, I checked okay. almost the, uh, every other day to see if they have online courses and stuff. So far, that's the only one they offer. Yeah, and they do regional workshops that count towards, you know, they do one day yeah. okay. workshops that count towards. Okay, if there good. is any well, news, let us know please if you hear yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. I've been keeping my eyes open too. Yeah. Not so, any, any, any interesting ones yeah. that's exchange ideas so we, we get, yeah. Yeah, if I come up cross, I need to know. Yeah. Very good. Right. Motion, uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Sec second. All right. Or oh, no, do yeah. I have to second? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do have to second. All righty. Right. I'm just giving this back to Jeff. you. What was that guy's name? Alex Sorokas. What's going on with Carson? S-E-R-R. O U no, A A X. They're still TBA. Yeah, I, I read that. And he's the landowner of. Well, they own Foontown. Oh, 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 they own Foontown. Yeah, the he's saying a neighbor said his father. Afraid, you know, just an able providing a comment to the yeah, public hearing. Yeah. yeah. I think he's phasing himself out. It. It. No, no, I brought in yeah. additional information to Thank to you. that further that further showed that the lot was illegally created. You know, the prior owner sued. Have a good night. Prior owner sued the Tanza. Uh, and he, he, and he, huh? Are you safe tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and it, you know, read like a novel. He basically said that you know they created a scheme to defraud him and to sell him a lot.